Hello and welcome to another edition of Glaucoma Fast Facts. In this video, glaucoma specialist Dr. Constance Okeke will talk about living with glaucoma. So Dr. Okeke, if I've been diagnosed with glaucoma, how do I know if I'm getting good glaucoma care from my doctor? Thank you, Andrew, for the introduction and allowing me to address the patients. So a really important thing that has to be between doctor and patient is a good comfort level. Uh, you need to feel comfortable with your doctor and you need to feel confident in your doctor. Uh, when those things go hand in hand, then it creates a re really great relationship between doctor and patient. With glaucoma, because it is a chronic eye condition that does typically um, require certain treatments, whether they're medication or uh, laser treatments or surgery, there's a need for communication about how things are going. The doctors are there to make sure that your glaucoma is stable, but what we're asking from the patient is to let us know how that regimen is. Because, for example, if uh, you're using medications and you have problems with them, whether they burn your eyes or uh, they're too expensive for you or you're just having trouble keeping up with all the drops you need to put in your eyes that day, it's important to let your doctor know. And yes, we want you to be a great patient and do what you're supposed to do, but we know life life happens. And so if there's an issue, it's more important for us to know about that issue because there are other options. There's options for either reducing the medication, switching the medications, using other options uh, like light energy treatments or surgery. We have a lot of advances in technologies that can help us to still control glaucoma and give those patients the option. So it's really important to feel comfortable with your doctor and to be able to be open and honest with them. Another thing that's important for you to know is that um, if for any reason you don't feel comfortable, if for any reason you feel uh, not really confident in what is happening uh, with your eye care, it's okay to get a second opinion. I am not offended by my patients getting a second opinion if they need it, because sometimes glaucoma can be really confusing. You can feel like, my eyes feel fine, I see fine, but I don't understand what's going on. And sometimes you need that extra uh, opinion or that extra word to say, okay, yes, I agree with what's happening. And yes, what the doctor's been doing is on point. Or maybe there are some other options, new treatments that another doctor might have that might be limited with uh, the doctor that you're currently seeing. So just know that it's okay. It shouldn't be something that's offensive to the doctor because it's all about you seeing well. All of our efforts and all of our treatment is so that you can keep seeing. So it's okay for you to do what you need to do to feel confident and secure about that. Do you have some tips for glaucoma patients to effectively work with their doctor? Yes, I think that it's important uh, for patients to keep up with their appointments. Glaucoma is a chronic condition, so it's really important for you to do your part, which is to show up. You could be given a treatment and everything could be seeming to go fine and you feel like you're seeing fine, but glaucoma can be sneaky and subtle things can be happening where there's changes and it's important for you to follow up so that we can stay on top of those things if the changes do occur so that we can maybe advance treatment or change treatment, be more aggressive if we need to. So it's important for you to try to adhere to the follow-up. Now, it's also important for you to know that if for any reason there's a breakdown of the follow-up, maybe your appointment got changed or you had to cancel the appointment and for whatever reason there wasn't that follow-up made, it's important for you to know that it doesn't mean that the doctor doesn't think that you need to come back anymore. You need to just follow up and say, hey, I know that I'm supposed to be being seen and I haven't had my appointment. So I need to, I know I need to make my appointment get seen by someone. So understand that those things can sometimes happen, but take some of the ownership on yourself to make sure you keep getting followed up. And that's important. Another thing that's important as you're working with your doctor is to make sure you let them know if there's any issues surrounding your regimen. If you're, you're having trouble remembering to keep up with the drops, talk to the doctor. They could maybe truncate that drop regimen to something simpler. Maybe if you are using the drops and they're bothering your eyes, there are drops that are gentler on the eyes that like for preservative free eye drops that might work better for you. Or maybe you have an allergy to the drop and you need to be seen so that can be evaluated and you change uh, treatment methods. So just be open and honest with with the doctor about how you're feeling with your, your care. And if you feel like you're noticing vision change, you feel like you're noticing loss of vision, let the doctor know because all of these things are important to helping us guide your, your treatment.
Dr. OKK, what other recommendations do you have? Should a glaucoma patient make other lifestyle changes? Well, I think that glaucoma patients should, uh, yes, address their lifestyle. We know that there's certain um, vegetables that are good, green leafy vegetables uh, like your kales or your spinach that are rich in nitrates. They seem to be helpful for the optic nerve. Also, there's been some reports that citrus fruits are helpful and enriching your diet with those things are, are good. Also, increasing activity because exercise helps increase blood flow to the optic nerve, which is helpful. Trying to avoid bad habits like uh, smoking, um, too much caffeine intake. Uh, those are things that overall can affect the health of the optic nerve tissues. There's also some reports about vitamins. There's actually a really good supplement that I recommend to my patient called the optic nerve formula. And I uh, have utilized it in a number of patients. And I feel that the ingredients that are within it have been studied and shown to be natural ingredients that can be very supportive of the optic nerve tissue and the blood flow. And so that's something to, that's over the counter, something that you can uh, look up and find online. And it's just important to know that it's a chronic disease. It doesn't go away. So it's not like you can get treatment for it or surgery for it. And all of a sudden it's just healed and gone and you don't have to think about it anymore. Um, there are great treatments that can make your eyes stable and make you feel like you're, you're seeing great and doing great. And that's, that's correct. But there's still need for follow-up care. Just remember that it's chronic and does require chronic follow-up. What about the emotional and psychological aspects of having glaucoma? How does having glaucoma affect someone's life? And do you have any recommendations for dealing with the emotional issues related to having a chronic condition? Yeah, I think that it's, you know, it's always interesting to me how um, different patients react to their diagnosis of glaucoma um, in different ways. Some people can see it as, okay, it's something that I have and I can deal with it. There's treatment and that's good. And some people can uh, get that diagnosis and just think of the worst that now I'm, a, I, I'm sentenced that this is, I'm going to go blind. And I think that the most important thing to combat um, uh, the, all those emotional uh, changes is education. Because the more that you understand and know about the disease and learn about it and learn how people live with it, I think the easier it is for you to um, embrace it and accept it and, and to understand, okay, this isn't something that's like a, a life sentence. And there is, um, I don't have to have a fatalistic approach to this. There is treatments and there are really good treatments. And technology is always advancing. And thankfully, there are each year, it seems like there's something new for us to be able to use to help patients preserve their sight. So I think that for the emotional aspect, uh, educating yourself. And that's one of the reasons why um, I really like working with the Glaucoma Research Foundation, because they're so great about educating the patient through their website. Because I've seen time and time again, certain signs, certain um, thought processes that if I could just have a chance to talk to you and give you some dialogue and advice, it could bring light and bring ideas and bring hope and bring um, just enlightenment so that you can be an advocate for your own disease so that you can take charge and realize that you have something to do about keeping your vision. Thank you so much, Constance. It's been a pleasure. And for more information, please visit our website, glaucoma.org and download our 40-page booklet, Understanding and Living with Glaucoma.